There's a partnership of companies called LANS, Los Alamos National Security. And when they took over management of the lab, they said, we're going to invest a million dollars a year in education. Education is the most important and the toughest grand challenge that our state is facing today. And um, I think we're fortunate here at Los Alamos Labs to, to get to be a part of helping the state of New Mexico, uh, teachers, school administrators, legislators, all the way to the governor, help find solutions. Part of helping find those solutions is finding out what works. And I think that's something good that Los Alamos Labs is very, very good at. I think there really are, are three reasons why education matters so much for us here in northern Mexico and for us here at the lab. Uh, the first and, and maybe the most obvious reason is that a substantial part of our workforce is drawn from, from the area here in northern New Mexico. And so people growing up in the area, if, if we're able to draw on their ability, uh, good quality education prepares them for work here at the laboratory. I think the second reason has to do with attracting people to, the, to come to the region. We draw people from all over the world to work here at the laboratory. And one of the things that matters to the people who work here is that their children will be able to, to get a good education. Uh, the third reason is I think it's a good thing to do for the community. It's the right thing to do. And in that regard, I very much appreciate the fact that NNSA, through the contract, makes it possible for the lab to, to make these kinds of investments. The focus of the programs here at Santa Fe Community College are developing uh, people for the jobs of the future and with a heavy focus on sustainability. So we've created our Trades and Advanced Technology Center, which is the home of our Sustainable Technology Center, to train people for the green jobs. We're heavily focused on science, technology, engineering, and math, science-related fields, but as they hook back to the trades. About 15 years ago, I heard about a, a project called the Advanced Technology Centers. LANL was a part of that dream. There were folks who worked at LANL at that time who said, this is an interesting thing for high-tech training, high-skill, high-wage jobs for northern New Mexico. In talking to the employers in the area, the sustainability and renewable energies came to the forefront as an important theme and we asked whether or not there were really green jobs out there and people said yes there are and we said are we a little bit too much ahead of the game and they said no we need these people yesterday. We really couldn't have started this program without the LANS funding. The college isn't funded for startup, we're funded really more for maintenance. So we were looking at how can we get support to hire the director and get the program started. With the support for LANS, we've been able to develop uh, six certificate programs and further develop a degree program in environmental technologies. Uh, the funds have been used so far mostly to help us coordinate and put things together, uh, but this year they've been used to heavily support the biofuels program. Well, the biofuels program is a two-semester course. It's a certificate program, and what we do in this program is we examine the social, political, economic impacts of petroleum on our culture and our way of life and we explore alternatives to petroleum. We, for example, learn how to make biodiesel from restaurant oil. We make uh, ethanol from various waste products that we garner around the city of Santa Fe. We also learn about hydrogen and natural gas and fuel cells, and we also explore in depth algae. And from the algae, of course, we can make fuel, we can make nutraceuticals, we can make plastics from it. Algae can do anything petroleum could do, except we're growing algae in real time. We're not waiting 100 million years to use it. So we have built a building to house those programs, to be very flexible, but the building itself is a symbol of sustainability. It's very green in its own nature. Everything in this building is exposed. The roof is a class roof. The students are up there working. The whole building is part of the educational uh, process. It's in the curriculum. What I envision is that we keep changing with the times and evolving and growing and we're very flexible in that in that building and in those resources. You know who knows eventually we may get into biotechnology training or manufacturing and we want 
to be able to address the economic needs and the workforce needs of the region and, and contribute to economic development. Here at UNMLA, LANS LLC has supported the Applied Technologies degree program. The funding actually uh, provided support for the development of an associate's degree program with concentrations in manufacturing, nanotechnology, and electromechanical technology. When the program was developed, we did a market analysis and we uh, determined that uh, these concentrations um, have uh, the need for new employees. The investment uh, has uh, allowed us to move forward uh, with acquiring faculty, also to acquire equipment that uh, is, is necessary so that students have the hands-on experience with the equipment that they're going to encounter in the workplace once they complete their degree program. We've made a commitment uh, here at the college to uh, emphasize the STEM courses, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics courses and we see that commitment as, as a way of, of matching as well as uh, uh, leveraging the, the funds that we get. This program will, will, will allow individuals who live here, who want to remain here, to participate in that high technology growth that we see materializing here in northern New Mexico, uh, both as a result of, one, the educational resources that we have here in, through this program, but also uh, through the efforts of the lab, through their economic development efforts to support uh, uh, entrepreneurs and, and other businesses that uh, have a direct relationship to the lab. Now we are really made up of two very special and unique campuses, the El Rito campus and the Española campus. And both, you know, have a different historical presence, but they both weave together really very nicely. The Española campus primarily is dedicated uh, to five academic areas, and that would be our career tech programs, you know, our AA degree programs, although those are still in the El Rito campus as well. But in terms of our baccalaureate programs, they're all here from education to nursing, arts and sciences, engineering, business administration. It's a very, very exciting place. I was really pleased when I first came here and learned that Lance invested in education in northern New Mexico and that was primarily focusing on our education and our nursing four-year degree programs. And both of these programs, by the way, are our premier programs, with teacher education being the original mission of the institution, especially on the El Rito campus in 1909. I've always wanted to be a teacher. What interested me in the in education program, at Northern particularly, small class sizes, um, more one-on-one -on -one time with teachers, affordability, accessibility. I absolutely love Española and I love the people and I believe it's a, a place where when I teach here it, I can empower students to go on further in their education and just be that, that, pers that one person that may make a difference in their life. But I'm a 60 year old woman, I've gone back to college. Uh, I'm, my goal is to graduate next year. I was an office manager in an office but our children need help. Uh, I feel that education gives children security. Education means freedom. Education means power, I believe, in with us as becoming teachers, but also empowering the students in, in anything they want to do and helping them succeed in life. Okay. So you want to have her stare straight ahead at your nose. While I was a student here, I heard that Northern was going to start a holistic nursing program. And so I was really, really excited about it because I really believe uh, in holistic integrative medicine. That's where my heart is at. Um, I believe that's um, the medicine of the future. I know, you know, more and more medical schools are offering integrative health programs. And um, I live in northern New Mexico. I live in Ojo Cayente. And I just was so thrilled that northern was, you know, having this program in my front yard. <laughs> Actually, I was accepted to the UNM RN to BSM program, but I chose to come here to Northern instead because of the integrative medicine aspect, the holistic nursing aspect of this program. It is so unique. It's one of just a few in the country. 
the program helped us um, clarify who we are as nurses, you know, uh, helped us develop our goals and visions, and it's been a life-changing um, event for me. You know, New Mexico Highlands University is a tremendous institution that uh, serves such a diverse group of people. I think one of our real strengths is we have such a rich multicultural mix of folks. The main campus is located in Las Vegas, New Mexico. That's about an hour east of Santa Fe. Our programs are fairly diverse. We have three professional schools, education, business, and social work, uh, as well as a very strong mix of programs in the arts, sciences, and uh, other, uh, other areas. Our media arts program is extremely strong. They are merging with the School of Business, which is where the software development program is, and there's a lot of synergy um, uh, between the two. And so that school is going to be the school of uh, uh, business, media, and technology. It's really unique in that it focuses on the junction of media arts and computer sciences. People really um, don't realize like how far apart they are and how useful it is to have them come together. You need people who are familiar with both sides of it to be able to bring them together, because otherwise you have these artists who are off doing their own thing and programmers who are off doing their own things and they don't talk very well and it's hard to conceive a whole project without someone who knows both sides of the spectrum. The investment that Lance has provided uh, at Highlands has really been in two phases and it's been extremely uh, helpful to us. The first phase was to establish an endowment that would support faculty salaries in various computer science fields and really tremendously uh, helped because we had some matching gift opportunities uh, the second phase really just started this year. We did shift the program significantly um, in terms of its thrust. It's no longer building the endowment, but rather is uh, in place to support um, uh, the development of uh, computer science uh, programs at the university. And it has allowed us to uh, launch a new program in software-driven design um, uh, that is uh, very unique. It's a four credit uh, practicum per semester and I think which equates to about uh, four hours a day in this studio doing real world applications of what you're learning in those classes. So it's sort of like uh, an apprenticeship. Uh, when we finish this program we should have a whole portfolio of uh, different projects that, you, that you've worked on. Well the reason that, that Highlands exists at all of course is to work with our students and to give them the kind of educational opportunities that will make a difference in terms of what they're able to contribute to our society and, and uh, give back. It's uh, challenging. There's a lot of skills that you need to have and uh, I was very fortunate that New Mexico Islands University provided me with those skills and I've been able to use them here at Lionel and uh, working here at Lionel I've just grown in so many ways as a professional, as a student, as a person. Uh, Lionel's given me a lot of opportunity and knowledge. If it was one thing that my parents taught me from their hard work and struggles, it's just that the way to succeed in life is to, to get an education, to always grow, and to keep learning. This is the first year that we've used the ISIC program um, and we're a dual language classroom so I have a co-teacher and she delivers all the instruction in English and I deliver all the instruction in Spanish. So she did the first unit, the rocks and minerals unit in English and I'm doing the electric, electricity and magnetism in Spanish for both groups. We both went to the summer training, it was a week-long training, so you know every investigation that the kids are doing we already did. We have on-site uh, support, so she knows all the kits in detail and she helps us troubleshoot and helps us in the class. And they love it, they love science time. NNM ISEC stands for the Northern New Mexico Inquiry Science Education Consortium. It's a collaboration between the Los Alamos Foundation lands and now five school districts to bring inquiry science using science kits that have been developed in National Science Foundation projects and science notebooks 
to K-6 schools in northern New Mexico. This year there were 10 schools involved, which meant about 150 teachers and a little over 3,000 students. This next year we're going to be doubling that number. What we said is we would, we would spend a lot of money on professional development for teachers to enhance educational learning for kids in the area of science. And what we found out with inquiry science is when kids get to do science hands-on um, and they write notebooks and they do experiments, it leads to great gains in critical thinking, in literacy, um, and in content knowledge. The first year lands purchased essentially all the kits. They've also been very helpful in paying for the evaluation that's being done by Advance Incorporated. They have also helped with the cost associated with having what we call our Science Resource Center, our warehouse, where we get the kits, put them in the boxes, deploy them out to the school, pick them up and refurbishing them. Also, LANDS helps a lot in funding the two conferences we have a year. We're going to have all this exciting learning going on, hands-on, you know, writing, critical thinking, um, developing hypotheses. I mean, it's just, it's just a very exciting time for kids and teachers. We could not have done this without LANDS.